All right, what is going on everybody? Captain, you're back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Today is a progression one, guys. It has been since November of last year since I've done one of these. It's been way too long. I uh, just kind of forgot about them, if I'm being honest. Um, I still have my spreadsheet and everything will show at the end, guys. It get into some, uh, some of the stats and everything. I'll kind of briefly go through as much as I can in-game. Um, and just come kind, of, kind of some other stuff here and there, but this will be my two year anniversary guys Technically, it's about a month late, but I'm just gonna call this my two year one uh, Anyways, so yeah guys two years of playing the game. This is where my account is at right now So go ahead first things first. I'll just pull up the profile 312 champions 530,183 it's my total base hero rating you can see I've got the five-star blade four-star uh, five-star void six star angela and then the five star ghost rider as my top four and outside of the angela like those top three are pretty much my top three go-to champions for everything they just so happen to also be good for prestige which is amazing you can see on the left there i'm in two loki it is season one right now we are currently in platinum three close to platinum two i think um so yeah guys we're trying to push to get there so that's kind of where we're at for the alliance go ahead give the alliance buddies some uh, screen time here scroll through scroll through some of them there um and then so let's go ahead hop over in game now let's go to the story quest uh you can see here guys act five if you've been around the channel the last month or so uh you will know that i recently uh i did the live stream i completed act five um, this was kind of a pain at times. Other times, some of the quests were pretty easy. Some of them were kind of fun. So, uh, pretty good stuff, guys. I don't have any guides for that. So, but if you want to ask me for advice or whatnot, go ahead, leave it down in the comments, and I'll do my best to advise you or send you over to someone else's video who has better advice. Uh, but that's it for Act Five. Got that all done. Event quests. You know, I knock them out every time. I still have to do the boss rush challenge. Probably going to live stream that sometime this week. Haven't figured out a date yet. Maybe tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Don't hold me to that. No promises. I think that's what I'm aiming for at the moment. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Uh, also, we got the Chaos Rift that just came back, which is pretty sweet. Obviously, I have 100% Road to the Lab Labyrinth still, and I've only done one path still in Labyrinth of Legends, which I guess isn't updated at this point since the last... Life. Since I did a last progression, I didn't hadn't uh, completed my first path yet, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's another thing I just realized I need to add onto the spreadsheet at the end. Up next, we have the crystal stash. Here we go. Uh, I've got uh, about almost 5,000 crystals that open, but a lot of them are just kind of like here. I have over 1,200 of these T3 tier three class catalyst fragment crystals, which they just stack up. Same with the T4 ones even. I uh, just have been holding on to them for a long time. I've got some of these, the quest ones here as well. I just haven't opened those in forever. Um, so that's majority of what those crystals are, but there are a couple here. So map five, map six, some tier four catalyst fully formed ones. Um, so yeah, nothing crazy exciting in there. I've been doing those weekly openings or trying to do them every week. I missed last week because I was in San Francisco, but I'll be doing that again this week. Um, and then here's my uh, shards, uh, almost 50,000 premiums, a little under 4,000 uh, three stars. I got enough for two more fours. And then we got a five star, so there will be a five star opening coming later this week. We're getting close to the next six star. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with that, if I'm going to save it uh, for the next batch or if I'm just going to pop it once I get it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, specialties, there's nothing. Oh, I have a login crystal. I don't remember what that was from this month. I don't have to go back and look at who the champion was. Um, inventory wise, and then we'll get on to the champions. So inventory in the catalyst, mainly you just want to see how many of the uh, not tier one, uh, let's see tier two alphas. I think I've got I've got four of them there, so I have enough to get another rank four five star. Um, not sure totally what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, then let's sort this by T4. You can see I've got maxed out on Cosmic, 11 Mutant, 9 Science, 5 Mystic, 1 Skill, and then 9 Tech. So I'm pretty stacked on all these, which is why I have all of those uh, T4 cla ca class catalyst crystals just sitting there because I don't want them to go into overflow. You can see I already have a bunch of stuff in my overflow that I need to use right uh, here soon. I don't know what Cosmic I'm going to be using for this. But I got to do something soon here. I don't want to just let that expire. 
Um, also in the items, uh, mainly just going to show what uh, Awakening Gems I've got. I've got a five star Cosmic one, which is hopefully going to go to Medusa someday or Hyperion maybe. Just kind of depends on, I guess, who I get first. Um, I have one tech one, which this is going to sit here until I get Stark Spidey. It's just that that's the only person I want to use it on. I do have a four star uh, mutant one, which I'm kind of holding on to this in hopes that maybe, just maybe, they bring back Deadpool around Deadpool 2. And if they do, I'm sure it's going to be an insane arena grind, but I, I might go for it, but we'll see. Uh, four star arenas aren't as crazy anymore, so maybe not. And then I have a four star science one. Uh, so other than that, I oh, then the rank ups actually too. Here I've got a two to three skill five star and then a three to four mystic five star which was from completing act five um, which was where both of those came from so yeah other than that uh, nothing too exciting going on in my inventory so now guys all the ones that you probably really care about is you wanting to see the full roster of what we've got so let's start at the bottom i've got a couple one stars here i got them all maxed out nothing nothing crazy i think i did sell a couple early on but I was able to get a couple back when they released some of the one stars. Two stars, I have everything maxed out except for this Angela and Civil Warrior. Um, I just like maxing out the two stars. It, it just makes it look a little bit more clean, I think. Um, so it's kind of cool to have that fully maxed out there just about. Uh, three stars, I have quite a few. Um, and again, I've got spreadsheets I'm going to show at the end here that have the exact numbers of how many I have maxed, who I'm missing, and everything. Just kind of briefly or quickly scrolling through here because the three stars, I'm not going to go in depth as in depth on the spreadsheet as the four star ones because there's a lot. I have most of the three stars and it's it's three stars, guys. Who, who really cares? <laughs> um, so there we go. That's all the three stars. Four stars. There we are. We got the Mordo at the top. We've got the four star blade, of course. Um, I think I've got like 17 uh, four stars that are maxed out. I'm only missing a couple of four stars. I didn't actually count it up to see how many I'm missing, but it's not that many at this point. I have a couple down here at rank one that I still need to rank up. I just haven't had... It's those low-level materials or uh, uh, catalysts that you know you forget to, gra to gather them over the week or whatever, and then you go to upgrade a champ, you don't have them. Uh, but then here we go with my five stars, which has definitely been the most... Uh, the thing on my account that's increased the most in the last m couple months, especially since I did my last progression, I was looking at the numbers. I've like doubled my five stars since my last progression video, which is insane in a short, short amount of time. Uh, but yeah, guys, of course, we got the blade. We got void and ghost rider, the top three up there. Uh, Star Lord, who's also I use him quite often. Um, but yeah, th those top three, they pretty much clear through everything guys they are amazing and so so fun to play with void is probably my favorite character to fight with right now at the moment um i just really like building up his intimidating presence charges and if you guys don't know how he works really i have a video on my channel back from when i was uh, got him for the content creators program i did a video about his intimidating presence so go ahead check that out i've got some alliance war videos that showcase it i've got some more that are on the in the works that uh, also have some awesome void gameplay so that's going to be coming soon as well um and then so yeah that's my five star roster i'm going back and forth i mean i said i was going to rank four punisher for the prestige I don't know. I just haven't done it yet because I, I don't know. I just don't know if it's the right decision just for prestige. Like I could just hold out until I get Stark Spidey. So who knows? I might have wasted all that on Punisher, but oh well. And then last but not least in the champions, we've got, of course, the six star Angela. Uh -huh. She's all alone by herself as the only six star on the profile on the account. Uh, but soon enough, I'll get someone else. So it's pretty cool though. She is uh, one of the best options right now that's in the basic five star pool, if not the best. Um, so I got super lucky with pulling her, uh, which is awesome. She doesn't need to be awakened to be uh, super useful. Um, she hits pretty dang hard uh, once you build her up right. You just uh, get her past the special one bar, then you use the special one and then build it back up again. Then you can get the three furies and she'll start hitting really hard. So I really, really enjoy a, five, a six star Angela. I, I fight with her every now and then. But if I had to say, if, just to show you guys what like my go to uh, questing team right now is, it's the Blade, Void, uh, Ghost Rider, and then uh, Stark Spidey, and then Medusa. 
So that's a, that. Those five right there, I cover five of the class cat of the classes right there. So pretty much, I can tear through everything. I've got the uh, the poison immune with Medusa, bleed immune with Ghost Rider, blade if I need the uh, intimidating presence or the um, danger sense, void with the intimidating presence, and then Stark Spidey of course, just being Stark Spidey. So yeah, guys, that is my team right now. Uh, so that's gonna do it for the actual like in-game profile. Um, I think I covered anything. Oh, wait, actually, Masteries. I didn't show you my Masteries. That's something. I always I feel like I forget to do Masteries every time. They haven't changed in a while. I need to change them, though, because I do need to in to add a... What is it? This one. Uh, Resonate, I think it is. The one that can add weakness. Or is it this inequity? One of those, I, I, I can't remember exactly, uh, adds a weakness, which helps with Void. So I'm going to be updating my Masteries, guys. But this is what I'm working with right now. Uh, pretty basic setup, pretty heavy on the deep wounds for Blade, of course, and 4 and 5 Assassin. Uh, defense is basically nothing at the moment. Uh, utility is, again, pretty straightforward with 4 out of 5 and Mystic Dispersion. So, there you go. That's my Masteries. Now let's head over to that spreadsheet. All right, so here's the spreadsheet covering up my face now, but we got the biggest and the yellow are the things that kind of have jumped the most, I feel like, since my last progression. You can see here, uh, this was my last progression video, which was at 20 months playing the game back in November of last year. I was around 3,700 subscribers in, in the last few months. That has jumped up to 5,300, which is pretty sweet guys not quite doubling it but hey it's still pretty good for that short of time plus i mean in that time i haven't posted that many videos uh just because i've been busy with some other stuff uh total champs has increased from 258 to 312 base hero rating has jumped up 130,000. um and then coming down here you can see act 5 has been 100 percent as well at the time of the last video i don't even was that act, act 5.4 hadn't even come out yet so I finished that one pretty quickly, at least in terms of how quickly I defeated the other ones. Uh, Three-star champions, I've got 109. 62 of them are maxed out at rank 5. Uh, max sig are 44 of those. Uh, for the four-star champions, I have 97 total four-star champions, 17 at rank 5. 13 of them are max sig. And for the five stars, it is up to 36 champions, which was 15 back in November. I only had 15 five stars. And in those last couple months, I've jumped it up to 36, so more than doubled it, which is absolutely insane. Three of them are rank four, and then uh, one at rank five, of course, being Blade. And then there's my one little six star champion there at the bottom. So here we go with the uh, actual spreadsheet that shows you uh, the progression of my three stars. And yes, this is... Uh, essentially the same kind of spreadsheet that Brian Grant does or used to do. I, I haven't seen him post a video on his in a while, um, but yes, I, I, I copied it way back in the day and I've just kind of tracked mine uh, along the way. Uh, so you can see all the ones that are grayed out are the three stars that are maxed. If you want to pause the video to see which ones those are, go for it. I'll just kind of scroll it over so you can see them all. Uh, and there you go. And there's the mutants, I think. I guess I had it uh, scrolled over. I didn't show those, I don't think. And then at the bottom, you can see 44 total maxed out. Pretty sweet. Just missing a couple here and there. Um, so, yeah, not, not missing too many of the three stars at the moment. Uh, four star, my roster, my four stars, again, is getting up there. Almost have them all. Uh, missing a couple. Have a decent amount that are maxed out. You can see here, again, pause it in the video if you want. And you can see what we've got going. So there we go. That is the spreadsheet for uh, my champions there. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this progression video. I think I just about covered everything. I kind of sped through all this. Um, apologies if I skipped anything. If you have any other questions about something that I did miss, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that's my account. And uh, look forward to some more Alliance War videos I'm going to get working on right after this. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.